let's say I cannot carry, like if I have to carry 150 yards of water, I can never do that. I mean, look at that. 154 carry. Yeah, I've never done that. <laughs> it was 135 at the beginning. That so, is no, mint, right? Send us a picture next time you get over that water. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. At the backswing, where it goes on the right foot? Whereabouts do you feel it go in the right foot? Where does it, whereabouts? Here. Okay, cool. And, and when I come, it's like that movement. Yeah. So when we, when we were, when we are taught to play golf, this is very static. Right, okay. So they're like, this is like the, the pillar or the base, the foundation. Yeah. It's yeah. strong. You don't move this. So when we are taught like that, then the problem becomes, how do you move your weight in front because it never went back? Yeah. So that's why like this is like, yeah, like a wall. It's going to stay there. So that's where you go. Because the first thing, this is basically, I feel like a bit of a sway. How does it feel in comparison? Very natural. Because for me, if you can't go back, how can you put your weight? How can you move forward if you don't move back? Exactly. So since uh, <coughs> we are always taught that this stays still, you move from here, mm. the upper body. So this is completely like new. And if you think about throwing a ball, or you and you you kept your lower body still. Yeah. You've got it's you've got limited because parts of the, the body is, to use now. To because the, the thing the is that. It's like, so when I s take my stance, I'm going to swing. So the first thing that comes to the head is like, don't sway. Right. Okay. So every golf instructor, like they will say, like, like don't sway off the ball. So that's why most of the, like for me, it's, it's quite rigid. Mm. You're just there. You're just worried about swaying. But this is like, I'm swing back and then swing forward. And just drop. Feel the weight at the end, drop it in front of you there right now. There you go, there you go. Brilliant. So you start to connect you with this, so you feel the club. Great, movement's starting to flow a bit more now. <coughs> can you feel that? Yeah. You can start to see the change in your movement, it starts to become more fluid, isn't it? And yeah. We're going to... Scale that up in a minute. Look at that. Look at this swing. Let the arms drop now with the ball. Brilliant, right? Feel different? Yeah. What are you feeling? This is I don't think too much on the on the swing. Whereas before I used to think a lot. What we're gonna do next, Ray, is we're gonna find the balance. So if you would if you would just, just stand on there for me a sec and take yeah. your normal stance. And just hold your position, don't move a thing, but just let me take the club, but keep your hands there, but let me slide the club out. Okay, does that feel a really relaxed stance, or do you feel like you're kind of holding this position? No, I'm pretty okay with it. You're pretty okay, okay. Yeah. Let your arms relax, see where they want to hang. Just let them relax. So, you're, when you were gripping the club, you were having to move your arms to grip the club. Yeah. So that means there's tension. Okay. Yeah. And if you just relax now, if I was to push you, can you feel you're a bit off balance? Yeah. Okay. So what I want you to do is find a place now where you're in balance, where you could push against me. So I want you to bend forward so the arms hang in front of the body. Yeah. So there's no tension. Because ideally, we don't want to have to move the hands to the club. Okay. Otherwise, we're moving the hand physically, the arm physically, and that's tension. Mm -hmm. Whereas if this is just relaxed, the hands come together and that's where they meet the club. Okay. So if we move the body forward into a position where they just can just hang, mm -hmm. that's better. That looks nice. And now, you could push against me. Yeah. What I want you to do now is make a swing that you feel would play a big hook, big banana shot that starts out where Robin is yeah. and then hooks right back to the middle of the driving range. Good. Let's see if that does it, okay? <coughs> And this is the fun of practice. Does, does your action match your intention? So see what happens. So by that posture, that position, that posture of strength, and that's it, it's more active. But it's, it's relaxed, the arms are just relaxed. That's it. Cool, and again. Let it drop, let the arms drop. Make another practice swing, right? Just without the ball. 
I started through here and high too. Good. Now your follow through went off over there somewhere. Just imagine we're hitting it dead straight yeah. towards one of those telegraph poles through this hoop. Now notice the difference in the finish. Did you feel that? Yes. Because what's making that ball curve back is not you or the swing. It is the swing, but it was back here, way, 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 way back at impact when you were putting the spin on it. So what's making the ball come back is the spin. Yeah. So I want you to follow through the there. fly here. So let's go with, yeah, go with the ball. And have a go through that. Imagine you're gonna hit it through there. There we go. There we go. Shot, right? Wow. What did that feel like? Yeah. Very different. Different. I've never done that. <laughs> that was beautiful, mate. It's awesome. Brilliant. Gonna go a bit higher. <laughs> Shut up. We're on it, Ray, now. Get in there. Now let's start the ball further right. Let's go. Here you go. Through here. Come on. Shut up. Wow. <clears throat> What's your experience of that right there? What do you feel like you've just done? I hit a draw that didn't just go, didn't just go all the way to the right. So if there was, let's say if there was water that's to the right, yeah. I would never aim that side. No. For the life of me, I'll, I'll, I'll aim left and maybe slice it right. Yeah, into the I'll, water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never consciously try to sort of draw it. No. Never. So this is what we need to be comfortable now seeing. Mm -hmm. Because once your body sees that outcome and it's a and you, you recognise the movement, you naturally attach the two yeah. and the body, the nervous system quietens down now. It's used to seeing it. So it's 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 comfortable to make. To have the ability to aim down the right side of the fairway and draw it back. Or or fade it when you want. Yes. Instead of having to play the fade. Yes. Because that's all you've got. Because this draw is going to help you control your fade. That's the thing. Wow. Shot Ray. What do you feel there in the movement, Ray, that you're making? Just now I felt free. <laughs> Did it? Yeah. So I just let the club go. Brilliant. Free. And is that a different feeling than normal? <clears throat> yeah, because normally I'm just trying to hit straight. So even if you say like, so if I want to hit a draw, I should be going to the right. But because I want it to go straight, I'll be going straight. Yeah, because you're thinking of the target. You're yeah. Straight. So now like if you say like draw, I'm thinking there. Great. Move your body around as well if that's easier, right? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like so that allows you to swing easier in that direction. Wow. Yeah. Look at the distance. Did we get that? <laughs> Did we pick it up? No. no. We're going to go. That is... That me for me it's like... That's proper that. That's 150 yard par three, no problem. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Go on, baby. Carry 150. Oh, yeah. 154 carry. Yeah, I've never done that. <laughs> it was 135 at the beginning. That so, is I've, mint, right? I've never done, like, 150. Six iron as well. Do you know what's interesting? Still only 75 mile an hour club head speed. Yeah. And you were doing that before. But your whole swing is much more efficient. Because now the club path is to the right, and I'll bet that was a great shot. The swing plane's to the right, and you hit minus two point six down. So now you're getting the sweet spot on the ball. So now you, all that force that you're creating, or a high, not all of it, but a higher percentage, is getting transferred to the ball. So the impulse that you put on the ball is greater. So um, the ball's longer on the centre of percussion. 
So you're transferring energy for quicker. Look at that, it was only 75.5 mile an hour, the others were 80, but you hit this one the furthest. Yeah. That is such a good shot. your arms drop, right? Feel the club at the end. Feel the weight now. Drop it in front of you. Feel the weight. Nice. 158. Yeah. 86. Now we're up, you see. So now, 86 mile an hour club head speed, you're, gonna, you're getting more out of the, the increase in speed. You knew that, straight away, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. that's the furthest. <laughs> awesome. You have to send us a picture next time you get over that water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that, wow. That is stunning, isn't it? Yeah, that's a that's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, 160. We did it, we broke it. 160. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yeah, that never happens. So 160, get in there. Massive path, that's what we're playing for. And it's straight in the fairway over there. Yeah, look at the flight. Look at that Flat. big eye draw. Some people would murder for one of them. Yeah, <laughs> that's what everyone comes for. Yeah. yeah, I never do that. Normally if I'm aiming right, it's all the way right. Yeah. And this is, when I normally when I play, even if I'm aiming right, I'm not fully committed. And this is like, I'm just letting it go to the right. Yes. I'm not even thinking here. I just know it's going to come back in. I'm just awesome throwing it there. Love it. Good. How you important have to get your lads to fetch the drinks. How important is the to get the toe up? Don't even worry about it. Okay. Don't even worry about it. This re reacts. Okay. To the whole body and the intention of the golf shot. It's like, where does my hand have to be when I when I throw a ball and let go of the ball? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It, but it does. Does matter. But you're not in control of that consciously. But it does matter. When I say it doesn't matter, I mean it doesn't matter consciously. It matters a lot subconsciously. But that takes care of it. What's important is that cognitively you invite you invite you are um, focused on the shot. You don't have to be thinking about all these conscious cues of what yeah. I need to do. You see, like you talked about alignment. Yes. We've not spoke once about alignment. What we did, we said, move your body around to where it feels comfortable. And what you did, you moved around this way. Yeah, you did it naturally, yeah. didn't you? Okay, and the balls are just starting right and drawing back. Perfect, okay. All right, look, we're gonna hit the one, odd one left. Yeah, we're gonna hit the, the odd one right, okay? We're only human. But the majority of your ball flights have been doing this now. Yeah. In, a, in an area of space that you would never have dreamed of starting the ball. Not trying to create feels, okay? Okay, Because that's something that's a bit superficial. Mm -hmm. We don't create feels in anything else in life. I don't try to create a feel for something. I do something and I'm aware of what I'm doing. I develop an awareness for it. And then I do so and then I change it. So I might throw a ball low, I might throw a ball high and I can feel the difference in the movement. So I can, and then I can start to throw anywhere in between those two and I can start to now refine that and then there becomes a, an overall awareness of the of the movement as a whole but I, I still know where roughly every part is but I'm not intentionally using that process to make the movement okay. it's, it's, it's more of an, an organic process otherwise we're thinking of positions and we're queuing it deliberately yes. and before when I play I would always not, think of my wrist did you? Yeah. always yeah that's because you had to, because you couldn't probably move, because you weren't moving your feet. No, it was always like, <laughs> like trying to cock my wrist or, yeah. I'm just thinking of my wrist always, in every swing. Really? Like, yeah, but today I didn't. Cool, yeah, don't think about, it's like thinking of the wrist if you throw a ball, or thinking of your ankle if you were kicking a ball. If someone said, think your ankle when you're kicking a ball, you'd go, you think they were crazy, and now I'm just going to kick a ball, and I'm going to curl it, watch this. Oh, I need to curl, I'm going to do a bit more, try a bit more. You don't, you're not a, you're aware, but you're not specific. You're not aware of each single body part. Yeah. You're aware of the whole form. Yes. It's like if I want to walk to that door, eh? Yeah. I'm just going to walk to that door. But if you said to me, Marcus, that's not the way to the door. You've got to follow these black marks. And there's eight marks there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the door. 
So I've got eight chunks, eight steps now. Yeah. P1, P2, P3, P4, all these positions, <laughs> right? And that's to the door. So now what, where's my focus though, Ray? What am I thinking about now? I'm thinking about this. Results, yeah. And now I'm thinking about this. Yeah, actually, to open that door, I'd just be looking and thinking I'm going to open the door. Yeah. I don't even know where my feet are going, but I tell you, but you open the door fine. Yeah. And I could do that time and time and time again. You could video me every time, and it'd be different every time. But I'd always achieve that objective. Yeah. And it would feel natural. And I can go faster, slower. I don't go clambering into things, mm -hmm. because there's, a, there's an overall awareness. Imagine the club's in your hands. Show me what a draw swing is like. Show me where, where would that weight move when you're swinging? Does it feel like the draw? And now do a fade, what you used to do. So play a fade. Look at that. Open yeah, straight away. away. Yeah. Feel different? Without the golf club, you know how this pattern feels. You can recognise it's very important. I don't need a football to know what that's going to do. Yeah. Okay. You don't need a golf club to know. You should, before you even see this golf shot, you know how it's going to feel. So when you... When you're approaching the ball and you're seeing it, or you're on the tee and you stand down, you know how this swing's going to feel. Okay, so now let's play a draw. Wow. Shot, Ray. Brilliant, Ray. Well done. Bring it down. That's oh, it. You got it. Brilliant, look at that. 156. Five, That's standard now, isn't it? One, yeah. 7.6 <laughs> to the right, 80 club head speed. Now, the holy grail. Swing plane, 5.3 to the right. That's quite a big shift. Now, I want you to play a fade. So now adjust everything and we're going back to old patterns. Oh, go on. Let's <laughs> try it. Look, try. Starts left. Great strike. Did we get it? But yeah, what's really it. interesting? Oh no, you put the flight. Sorry. No worries. Uh, so it picks up the flight, not the book, not the club path, uh, club data. Let's play more fades. Let's go for that fade. Get that posture. There we go. Shot. Sure. I, I know you didn't strike it perfect, Ray, but. We're not interested in that at the minute, we're just, our focus is on the club path and the face angle. And look, I mean a massive path to Changed the left. It. I think it's, it's obviously in relation to where this is pointing, you're going miles left. And then what did you do to your swing plane? <laughs> Huge left. Okay, so now let's go fade again, not as much. Wow. There you go, that's the one, huh? Yes. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about, Ray. That's what I'm talking about. 16.4, I mean it's massive swing plane to the left, path to the left, 80 mile an hour club speed. But the most important thing is that you can go left or go right. I want to do just a straight shot. Yeah, that's go in on. between. <laughs> it's pretty good. You're making it look easy, Ray. It's a straight shot. Yeah. I mean, we know that not many shots, they're not they're not really straight. There's always going to be a bit of spin axis tilt. <clears throat> but on the eye it looks pretty straight. And for you, where you where where you've come yeah. from, now you can you've gone from here and you can bring it in. Yes. You're going to find within this spectrum, you're going to find where your best swing lies for you. What you feel, what, what is your signature style? What, that's, what, that's where I feel best. That's my, and it produces a shot that you expect, that stock shot. And that ultimately is you. You're finding yourself. Let the club drop, Ray. Don't forget that bit. Let it drop. Feel the weight. I love it. Now you're watching the ball fly intently. Swing plane 1.9 to the right. Very good. You hit four degrees down as well. That was unheard of before. Yeah, shit. Sure. Shot. 
shot, right? Brilliant. It's, it's nice, that. Yeah. You're on it. Big time. I can play golf now. <laughs> yeah, you, our, our work is done. <laughs> 0.2 degrees swing plane to the right and it's virtually square. Because you were hitting 2.9 degrees to down, it shifted your path 2.5 degrees right. So that's like a, it's just a, it's the draw you'd want. If you're in it a draw, a swing plane that's about straight with a slightly descending angle of attack gives you a nice draw and that's, that's as close as you get to a, a perfect draw really. And I'm not um, thinking of anything. Brilliant. I mean, that's where you want to be. Yeah, I'm just thinking I'm going to throw my club there and just shift the weight left and right. And then that happens. And then yeah, just get it there. Awesome. And I know it's going to come back in. It's not like, I'm not going to lose it in the woods. No. <laughs> and, and even, and you know what, whether you aim there, or there, or there, or there, doesn't really make that much difference, okay? You're going to move round, and your ball, you've, you've naturally found the right ball position for you. Yes, it's all this to the back. And then for the fade, it was a bit more forward. Yes. Okay which makes sense, okay? And then you're moving round with the ball, and but everything's moving. Now you've got the shift. Yes. Now you've got the downward angle attack, and now you're moving the low point forward. So now you're gonna be striking the ball on the turf, because yes. you're not hitting off the back foot and releasing early. So, happy. Yes. Yeah, brilliant. Yes. That was amazing, man. That was. That real. makes. What if you're happy, right? I'm happy. Yeah. Yeah. It's worth the train ride. Right? <laughs> worth. It was worth the train. Brilliant. Well, that's the main. That's that's that. That makes it all worthwhile. Straight from Koh Ko Samui. Yes. You'll be celebrating on uh, Koh Sam Road when you, uh, <laughs> <laughs> when you get back. <laughs> awesome. Did you expect that? Draw, no. I just thought I'd hit straighter. Uh, did I expect to hit a draw, draw on command? No. I just thought I'll hit. I, I just thought that after the, the lesson, I would not pull as much. Yeah. That that was it. I would I would not pull as much. I didn't right. expect that I could swing freely to the right and know that the ball's gonna come back. No, I wasn't expecting that. I was just expecting I won't pull so much, that's all. So good. Yeah. That's so I, good. Everybody's been telling me I'm over the top. I've heard that I think, a few yeah, times. that's what you saw all the time, over the top. So like when you're at the range, people are like, you know, stick your elbow in there. And yeah. this is the first time I think I've, I've hit balls without thinking of my upper body. Wrist, elbows, arms, hands. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing. Mm. Otherwise was... Along like, to the rod. Yeah, all, like all that. Yeah. Today was nothing. Swing to the right, that's it. That's why you can hit so many balls, because it's not as taxing on your body. Yeah, I think how many balls you've hit there. Yeah. Yeah, it is, see here. I <laughs> <laughs> think how, how and before you would have been a, feeling it or aching or feeling yeah. just, you've worked out with the upper body you've done work. yeah I get sore in the neck and the lower back today no today I'm feeling today you're the, feeling the legs the legs yeah so uh, that, okay. that shows that you're using you're recruiting different parts of the body now and you're really letting that transfer through the system cool Ray I'm so pleased you made the thank trip you thank, so you thank, thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much it's so good it was so good to watch thank you